So uh, what are we doing here? Well, today we're gonna go and crush um, a model CBXR. We are looking at the CBXR and ways we can improve it. So the steps we took were we, uh, we actually took a battery and we compressed it and we looked at where the weak points would be and we found ways to improve the nickel design that both uh, strengthened those areas and allowed for flex in certain areas that were previously breaking. You have a more durable battery and then also because it's more durable, it's gonna last a lot longer the nickel we use is rated for more current than the cells are capable of producing. So even when you're pushing your one wheel to the limit, the nickel stays nice and cool. So today we're gonna to be crushing a model CBXR. Uh, this model has fake cells, so there's no risk of any sort of explosion. Um, this is purely to demonstrate how the nickel design um, reacts with, uh, with excessive load. Uh, we're gonna be using a hydraulic jack and simulate like worst case situation. So this is how the model looks after we crush it with uh, way too much force. But it shows that these peaks here kind of deflect out of the way and that prevents any sort of broken welds um, or any sort of shearing forces. It just kind of deflects the nickel up. We still get really good current flow and uh, there's practically no chance of welds breaking with this method. The benefit is a more reliable battery. We've actually already implemented these changes in the CBXR and it's been proving very successful over the last several months. We are really excited to continue to update and develop this product, but we're really happy with all the progress we've made on it this year.